and welcome to Study the Module. My name is Heidi Salmenta and I work as a project researcher at the University of Turku. During this video, we are going to talk about how to support the development of university students' critical thinking skills during their studies at the university. Nowadays, most of the universities are international learning environments. The culture of teaching and learning varies, and cultural background and personal learning experiences have an influence on everyone's conceptions of teaching and learning. This is concerning also critical thinking. Understanding different teaching and learning cultures is important to be able to support every student's learning. Even more important is to face students as individuals. One of the main aims of university education is that students learn the scientific way of thinking. It is important for students to learn to evaluate the sources and the nature of knowledge, especially understanding the specific nature of scientific knowledge is crucial. Critical thinking is one of the key components of scientific thinking and in that way one of the most important learning outcomes of the whole higher education. Thus, learning critical thinking skills is crucial for higher education students and the development of their critical thinking skills needs to be supported systematically during studies at university. University students need critical thinking skills to progress in their studies and, of course, later in working life. However, there are great differences in the quality of students' critical thinking skills. According to a review article about effectiveness of critical thinking instruction in higher education, direct teaching strategies which are based on explicit explanation of critical thinking principles might be more effective in improving students' critical thinking than the implicit teaching strategies. Of course, the type of critical thinking measure may influence an evaluation of the effectiveness of critical thinking instruction. However, it is important to discuss with students what critical thinking skills are, and especially what is meant with these skills in scientific thinking context. In some cultures, critical thinking skills are hardly asked from students, and assignments requiring critical judgment of theories and research findings may be difficult for students from these cultures. Also, plagiarism and reference practices may differ globally. In other words, it is important to make visible for students what are the critical thinking skills that they are expected to learn. Like Hüthinen et al. states, teaching practices should enable students to actively use their critical thinking skills. Also, teachers should meet the varied needs of student population. One good way to teach critical thinking skills doesn't exist, but some principles may help. Anyway, like said before, there are great differences in students' critical thinking skills. That's why it is important to get to know the group at least in general. Who are the students? Also, discussion and concrete both general and discipline-specific examples may help students to approach the topic. One of the most important goals for teachers is to activate students' own thinking by using a student-centered approach. It is important to bring the topic near to students and explain, for example, why critical thinking skills are so important to learn. In addition, it is important to support students to reflect their own thinking. That's why discussion concerning students' previous conceptions and beliefs are beneficial. The best way to support the development of students' critical thinking skills might be to get students to actually use their critical thinking skills. Reflective and activating tasks may work. One more thing in the end, don't forget to reflect your own conceptions and beliefs.